Hey guys, it's Two Proof You Games or Adam, and welcome back to another one of my top five videos. And in today's top five, we are going to be going over the top five wonder weapons in Zombie Chronicles. So the cool thing about this top five is, if I was to make a list right now of uh, the top five wonder weapons from these eight maps, but the original versions, my list would be completely different because. The amount we rely on Wonder Weapons uh, in Black Ops 3 is completely different from how we rely on them in Black Ops 1 or World of War or Black Ops 2 Zombies because in Black Ops 3 you have different mechanics. You know, for example, on Shangri-La you don't have PhD, so I feel like you have to rely on the JGB more or Gobblegums more or, you know, uh, RK5 Deadwire more. So my list is definitely different from the original version of the maps to the remastered versions here in Black Ops 3. So uh, we're going to be going over my top 5 favorite wonder weapons to use in this DLC and of course I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what is your favorite wonder weapon out of all eight chronicle maps so before we get into the top five guys I just want to thank you for my previous video in that video I asked for 1800 likes on my Reagan mark 2 comparison from the bo2 and the bo3 version I asked for 800 likes you guys crushed it with almost 3,000 likes you guys are absolute legends, so thank you so much for that. And for today's video, our goal is going to be 2,200 likes. Let's see if we can break that. And besides that, guys, let's go ahead and start off our top five. So coming in at number five on my list, I have the Raygun Mark II. And guys, the Raygun Mark II is... Obviously, you know it was gonna be on this list. It's the damn Mark II. Who does not like the Reagan Mark II? Uh, but the reason why I have it in the number five spot on my list because the Mark II is a great wonder weapon, but it definitely isn't as good as it was in Black Ops 2. And here's why: in Black Ops 3, going to higher rounds is pretty easy with gobble gums and with you know the repack of punching weapons. Going to high rounds is pretty easy, and uh, in Black Ops 2, it, it wasn't as easy, so you'd be using the Mark II a lot in the lower rounds, but once you get in the higher rounds in Black Ops 3, it's it's pretty much useless, and you go to higher rounds way more often here in Black Ops 3, so the Mark II doesn't seem as useful. It's pretty much the same thing, or it is the same thing from Black Ops 2 damage-wise, um, but again, the whole... High rounds and just the Mark II is surrounded by some really OP things. It doesn't feel as powerful here in Black Ops 3, but it's still the damn Reagan Mark II, and it's one of my favorite wonder weapons of all time. Next up on my list and coming in at the number four spot, I have the JGB or the Baby Maker from Shangri La, and this is a weapon that would be higher up on my list if we were talking about the original versions of the map because the JGB honestly I thought was one of the most underrated weapons uh, one weapons in all of COD zombies it was so good but a lot of people didn't like Shangri-La so it was really overlooked but here in Black Ops 3 it, it's still the JGB but they made one little change to this weapon when you run into the zombies you get stunned for a second and for me like, it's still a good wonder weapon don't get me wrong but that one little tweak makes it not as good as it used to be I find it's much easier to die now because of that little that little stun you get for like a split second it's kind of annoying but at the same time it's not too bad but it's enough of a change to really notice it and down a lot more. Besides that one little tweak, it's still the JGB and it's still a very effective wonder weapon. And honestly, it's just perfect for Shangri-La because Shangri-La is a close quarters map and if there's any zombies in your way, which there will be, this thing is just perfect for clearing out that path you want to go through. And it also takes uh, takes out the fire zombie and, and the screamer zombie, so that's really nice as well. And it is an effective wonder weapon, and especially for the higher rounds. And there are certain strats you can use 
with this weapon and it makes it so damn easy. And again, I, I really do think it is a underrated wonder weapon just because of the reputation. Shangri-La used to have, I don't know if people still like Shang or not. I feel like more people like Shang than they did before, um, but before people really did not like Shang. And that's why I thought this wonder weapon was so underrated. So if you haven't played Shang yet, give it a go and use this thing right here. So coming in at number three on my list, I have the wave gun from Moon. And the thing I like about the wave gun is, of course, it has two different functions. Pretty much the first one is you can zap the zombies, it one hits the zombies, you know, that's perfect, that's fine. And then you have the other version of the wave gun that is the, the version where it is all in one gun. And that is pretty much like, I guess like a Wonder Wolf, you know, you can kill a large group of zombies with one shot. And if you use the correct strategy, this thing can be absolutely deadly and you pair that with using the hacker to you know hack carpenter power-ups uh, from the licensed contractor gobble gum or just any power-up to get constant max ammos you know ammo really isn't a problem on moon and this thing can be very very overpowered if used correctly if i was doing this list for the original maps i definitely wouldn't have the wave gun as high i think the wave gun is better in Black Ops 3 Zombies than it was in Black Ops 1 Zombies. Again, mainly because of the ability to have constant max ammos here in BO3. Take away the gobble gums, they're pretty much the same thing, but the thing is the gobble gums are there and there are some pretty overpowered strategies on Moon. Uh, when you use the wave gun with that strat, it is absolutely insane how quickly you can go through the rounds and how high of a round you can go to using this gun. So coming in at number two on my list, I have the Thunder Gun. And the Thunder Gun was already in Black Ops 3 Zombies, but here in Chronicles, it is such a good weapon, especially on like Kinder to Toten, because that's when the Thunder Gun was first introduced into Zombies, was on Kino, so I had to include it on this list. And it's also on Nocturne and Toten as well, so it is on two of the eight maps here in Zombie Chronicles. And starting off with Kino, this thing is a absolute beast, and... You're gonna be running gobble gums, at least Alchem. This thing is so damn good when you use the correct strat. It is just so, so OP. It definitely wasn't this OP in a Black Ops 1 again, because you don't have those gobble gums. But here in BO3, it is absolutely insane. Having the Thunder Gun on Kino is nice, but it's also on a Nocturne on Toten, and I want to talk about that for a second because the Thunder Gun is such a great gun on Noct because the map is such a small map and it's so close quarters that having a gun like the Thunder Gun is absolutely amazing. And it's not like this is anything really new because the Thunder Gun was on the remastered version of Noct back in BO1. So I kind of expected it to be here on Noct as well. And of course, they did the exact same thing. And now you can use crate power and upgrade that Thunder Gun into the Zeus Cannon. And the thing is an absolute legend. But overall, guys, the Thunder Gun is an amazing wonder weapon here in Chronicles. And honestly, probably one of the best wonder weapons of all time. So to finish off our list in the number one spot, the best wonder weapon here in Zombie Chronicles is easily the Ice Staff from Origins. And this wonder weapon right here in Black Ops 3 Zombies with all of the features Black Ops 3 has and the BO3 mechanics is just too overpowered. And if you use some of the strats that were popular back in Black Ops 2 and you do them here in Black Ops 3, my oh my is this thing an absolute beast and if anything it's a little too OP. With the Ice Staff all you have to do is get out chemical and ammo should really never be a problem. That's the only gobble gum you need with the Ice Staff and running uh, max ammos and uh, running uh, all the other gobble gums is nice 
Um, but all you need is Alchem, and you are good for ammo for the higher rounds. Back in Black Ops 2, if you did some, you know, crazy higher round strats with the Ice Staff where you stand in one spot, you know, you wouldn't run out of ammo until, like, round 70. And here in Black Ops 3, you know, going round 70, and then after that you got Alchem to carry you, you are absolutely good, and the Ice Staff will get you out of any situation, it will wreck the Panzers. You know, it, it does everything you need it to do. It's a wonder weapon that kills zombies in the higher rounds, and it will kill the zombie boss on the map at the same time. It gives you drops, and uh, it's OP as hell. I don't know what else to say, guys. The Ice Staff is a really good gun, so it definitely deserves the number one spot on my top five wonder weapons list. So there we have it, guys. Those are my top five favorite wonder weapons here in Black Ops 3 Zombie Chronicles. If you guys want to share your list as well, let me know in the comment section below, or just let me know what your favorite wonder Wonder Weapon is or what you think is the best Wonder Weapon here in Chronicles. And uh, besides that guys, drop a like on the video, I would appreciate that very much. And if you want to see more Top 5s, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.